What's good y'all, it's Solution back at it with another Mental Gym video in which I give you guys frameworks you can use to become extremely successful and accomplish all the goals that you are after. So let's get right into it. So today I want to talk about solitude and this is very interesting because I believe solitude or periods of solitude are very, very, very important for your growth and being able to accomplish your goals or even to get better at accomplishing your goals. So the definition I came up with for solitude in the context of achieving your goals is periods of time where you're alone to achieve your goals. So the reason why I believe solitude is very important is because it makes you resourceful. It makes you self-reliant. It makes you independent. It makes it so where you don't have to rely on other people to achieve your goals. Because the thing is, we cannot control other people. You cannot control other people. Other people are going to do whatever they want to do. And for that reason, it is dangerous to hope or pray or rely on someone for you to get something done. Because then it puts it up to chance whether you um, succeed or get your goals. Whereas if you become self-reliant, it does not go up to chance. Everything is on you and you can control you. So the reason why you haven't achieved your goals it will always be your fault, which is a good thing, because that means if you win, it can always be your fault as well. So that's why I believe I really wanted to give you guys a mental exercise in which you guys can think through solitude so you can go through this period. And as a disclaimer, I'm not saying I want you guys to be alone. I don't want you guys to be lonely. I don't want you guys to feel like no one is coming to help you or whatever. I'm not saying I want you guys to feel that. What I do want you guys to do is switch your perspective on the idea of loneliness and being alone. In this time is where you can grow and become much stronger, which will increase the likelihood that you achieve your goals. That's why I believe it is important for all guys to go through this period. And the unfortunate reality actually is most guys are forced into this. Most guys are forced into their solitude. Why? Because... As an ambitious guy, as a guy who wants to be extremely successful and accomplish all their goals, you might right now might already be experiencing this solitude or might have already been forced into this solitude. Why? Because you have realized that the people around you can't help you achieve your goals. They don't have the same mindset as you. They're not as ambitious as you are. And for that reason, there's that disconnect. You don't you don't even feel like company in the way that you don't feel camaraderie. You don't feel like the people you are currently around are actually helping you at all at all so you're already alone and you're forced into this period but you can take back your strength and instead of being forced into this where you now have this bad perspective on solitude you can put yourself into this willingly right now so you can now look at this whole situation of you being alone as an opportunity for growth rather than being a bad thing like oh my god i'm alone i'm lonely and that's the difference i want to make sure to make for y'all because i have personally went through solitude and it's been the best definition of my life like i've constantly went through periods where i was alone and it's been amazing because it's made me so self-reliant resourceful i really feel like i can do anything regardless of the fact that people are around me or are not around me i can just do whatever i need to do so the first part of this mental exercise you need to think through in order to enter your period of solitude in which you're going to be able to grow and become much 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 stronger is identify so first you must identify plus so you have to identify and what do i mean by identify you need to identify who is not helping you achieve your goals and this is essentially people who are the opposite of your value circle which is a previous mental exercise that i've made so you guys can have people around you who are only helping you achieve your goals and these are people who've achieved what you want and they can give information like you have access to the information that they give out people who want to achieve the same thing as you and you can work with them or the best kind is people who have achieved what you want and you can work with them because obviously they can directly give you information that can help you achieve your goals there's also people who indirectly can help you achieve your goals these are people who were like your parents or people who can give you money because for most of us we need money in order to achieve our goals like achieving our goals isn't necessarily free of course or people who can support you maybe mentally or emotionally like a girlfriend who could take care of you sexually or maybe some friend or some person who really helps to increase the strength of your mindset or whatever right you have these kind of people but the thing is for maybe most of you guys right now you don't have those kind of people around you or you only have one of these people 
right? And that person might be somebody on YouTube. Let's take me, for example. Like I'm giving information that is supposed to help you achieve your goals, but you don't have direct access to me. Like you can't just call me on the phone and be like, hey, solution, I got this situation going on. You know what I'm saying? You don't have that access to me. So I'm not like close to you compared to the people who are close to you, compared to the people who you are friends with right now, they're not helping you achieve your goals. So the likelihood that you are going to be alone after this process is just really high because your value circle is just not strong yet. It's just not strong enough yet because even when building your value circle, it's not like it's just going to go from zero to 100. Like after you think about your what a value circle is like, you can just have it the next day. Like it will take time to find these people. And that's what leads to the solitude. Because in that solitude, when you exit it, you will then have this value circle. You will then have these people who are helping you, but you might not have it initially, right? So that's why first you must identify the people who are not helping you. I mean, your current friends or anybody, pretty much anyone you communicate with, any other human being that you communicate with, you need to identify the, if you need to identify them if they do not help you achieve your goals. Meaning if they're not like the people I just listed, they're not someone who has achieved what you want and you have access to their information. They're not someone who wants to achieve the same thing as you and you can work with them. Or they're not someone who has achieved what you want and you can work with them. And with all these types of people that can be in your value circle, they all value the same stuff as you. Meaning they have the same values as you. And what I mean by values is they care about the same things as you. Like they care about hard work, growth, getting stronger, getting smarter, like those kind of things. Like they're on the same wavelength and they see life the same way as you. So yeah, first thing, identify the people who are not helping you achieve your goals. And to be completely honest, it's like 90% of people around you. Like if you're being completely honest with yourself and you're doing this first part properly, it's like 90% of people around you are not helping you achieve your goals because 90% of people around you have probably not achieved what you want or don't even want the same things as you. Like, so you need to be very vigilant of this and you need to be asking yourself this right now or as soon as possible. So who is not helping you achieve your goals? Who does not want what you want, right? Who has not achieved what you want? And you need to look around at all your current people and all the current people that are making you not feel alone, meaning physical bodies are there, you need to look at these people. <laughs> And realize if, and obviously make sure to see if they are helping you achieve your goals or not, which will probably be most people. And that is pretty much what leads to the solitude framework because once you identify and once you really objectively look at the people around you, you realize like, oh fuck, bro. No one, no one can help me achieve my goals currently who's around me. This is crazy. And that's where we get into the next part of this and the, obviously the most important part of this. And that is cut the fat or what I like to call cut the fat. So what I mean by cut the fat is you need to end these relationships. Yup. You got to do, you got to have the hard conversations. My friend, you have to end these relationships. I know right now your emotions might get in the way, but like, Oh, I've been with this person for years. I've been, I've been, it all comes back to is, do you care more about that person or do you care more about achieving your goals? Because if that person you care more about and they're holding you back, which they are, unfortunately, if you care more about them, then fine. But you are giving up strength and power and growth you could get to achieve your goals. You're giving that up to maintain this relationship. And that's fine if you want to do that. But I'm here to make sure you guys are doing everything you possibly can to achieve your goals, period. And I'm not going to tell you guys or recommend things to you guys that are not going to help you do that. I'm not going to give you guys pipe dreams and say, you can have everything you want and achieve your goals too. No, there's trade-offs. I don't like to say sacrifices because you want the goal. So you're not making sacrifices by getting rid of things that are not helping you. You're just, you're just trading. You're trading something useless for something useful. That's not a bad thing. You're not sacrificing anything, right? If your mindset is based on you becoming successful and achieving all your goals, right? Cool. So what you need to do is cut the fat. And in order to cut the fat, and what I mean by cut the fat is people who are not helping you achieve your goals who are currently around you, you need to communicate. There's two ways you can basically do it, right? So one is just hard conversation. Like you just go so hard convo. You just go and talk to the person. Like you just go and have the hard conversation with whoever this person is. And you're just like, hey man, you know, I have these goals I want to achieve and 
I don't believe that we can really talk anymore if I want to be able to do that because I want to be able to focus. And obviously it's no hard feelings. You're just being honest and you can, whatever you need to do to disclaimer it or whatever you need to do to explain it. You're like, but do not try to sugarcoat it. Do not try to go around it or not say the truth, say the direct, the direct thing. Hey man, I want to achieve these goals. And in order to do that, I do not believe we can have this communication anymore or we can have this relationship anymore. And I'm saying this mainly to the guys that you've probably been around for a while. Maybe people you went to middle school with, high school with, college with, whatever you need to do, you've had a long-term relationship with them, you need to go have that conversation with them. And personally for me, I would say I've made the mistake in which I had these long-term friends or friends I've been with for a long time and I chose not to have this conversation with them. And I wouldn't say I have regrets because it still worked out in the end, but if I had an option in what way I'd want to do it, I would have just went and had the hard conversation. So you guys don't have to make that mistake if you've already had this long-term friend that you've talked with for a while. Just go and tell them like, hey, this is the direction my life is moving in and I don't believe our lives are headed in the same direction. So I don't believe that we can talk anymore. So I, in order for me to be able to focus and get what I want, and for you, you, you can even say what benefits them. Like, hey, I don't want to just not be talking to you or start acting weird or doing weird stuff that you wouldn't expect when I could have just told you the truth, which is what you're doing now. Just go have this hard conversation. And why I, I, why I highly recommend these hard conversations is because they make you stronger. If you go and have hard conversations with people consistently, it makes you a better person because most people are unwilling to have hard conversations. And that's why a lot of misunderstanding and bad shit happens. That's why a lot of people want revenge or are resentful of other people because people were unwilling to do the hard shit. They were unwilling to have the hard conversations and the blunt, the blunt conversations with people which would have helped the whole situation. Because when people have the hard conversations with you, even though it might be emotionally jarring, it makes things clear, mental clarity. Your emotions will blow over and the logic will kick in and you'll be like, wow, I'm really happy that they had this conversation with me. And I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? They're doing some snake shit or slide shit. So if you have these people, you need to cut the fat. Meaning if you have these people who are not helping you achieve your goals, they're in your circle or they're around you or they're in your environment, go and have those hard conversations with them. Tell them, let them know, hey, this is what I want to do. This is the direction my life is heading in. And because of that, we cannot have this relationship anymore. I wish you the best and I hope everything goes well. Regar how they decide to react, honestly, is not your problem, by the way. It doesn't matter how they react because you're going to do what you need to do at the end of the day. And you did your part by being honest with them and giving them the facts. It's up to them now to accept it or not accept it. Either way, you're going to do what you need to do. But you did the right thing and you got the rep because you had the hard conversation. And having these hard conversations make you grow, which will make it easier and better for you to accomplish your goals. Because when on the path to accomplishing your goals, you're going to need to have hard conversations with people. And these hard conversations make things clear. There's no misunderstandings and you get directly to where you need to go. So the other way that you can handle this, which is another way that I personally handled situations like this in the past, in the past is just end communication. Like just straight up stop talking to the people. Right, because so you just end calm, like you just end communication. Because sometimes you will run into the people who are currently in your circle or around you that you don't even need a reason with them. Like you, you don't need to go have this conversation. You don't need to go talk to them. You could just stop talking to them, and you probably will never talk to each other again. Because more often than not, we're around people because of proximity. Like because we're around these people, we talk to them. But if you just straight up just don't talk to them and never see them, you'll never talk again. And some relationships are like that, but it's up to you to have the awareness to realize that. I'm not saying you should do this with everyone. Maybe some people you should have the hard conversation with. And maybe all maybe all your friends right now, you should just end communication. You should just stop talking straight up because maybe they're just not bad people. Maybe you come to your, situa your, your senses and realize like, oh shit, these people are horrible. I should not be around these people at fucking all. And then you just end communication. And they can react and act however they want to, but you've done what you wanted to do. Because regardless if you have the hard conversation or not, you're not going to talk to them anymore. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I just only recommend hard conversation because it makes you stronger. And it, because you, you're not someone who will just avoid hard conversations forever now. Because you're going to need to have them eventually. So I just recommend doing it that way. But you don't have to. So if you have some of these people who you feel like just 
Not that you need to reason with them, but you just can't have that conversation with them. You just know what type of person they are. And you also know if you kind of just don't talk to this person for a while, they're just like not going to hit you up. And it's kind of one sided communication where you always hit them up anyway. Yeah, just you can just end the communication and move on. And then once you have pretty much done this, you will enter your period of saw YouTube. You will enter the period of time in which you are alone. And you have now you're just by yourself and your goals. You're with yourself and the work that you need to do to achieve your goals now. And you have this is going to be a beautiful period for you because now you're going to be in a period where you can grow. You become more self-reliant, self-reliant. You become more resourceful because when you're alone and you can't rely on other people, you have to find out of the box ways to get things done. Because obviously when you have people around, normally you could just be like, oh, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? Now you don't have that because your circle is extremely small. And it's probably, be, like I told you, for you right now, if you really realize it, it will probably end up being just you. You might have one or two more friends left because you might realize, oh, these guys are actually in my value circle because they want to achieve the same thing as me. So you might have one or two friends left, but generally speaking, it's probably just going to be you. And because of that, you're going to need to be resourceful in order to achieve your goals because you cannot, I mean, you couldn't even rely on those people anyway. But also the biggest benefit I believe that comes from Saw YouTube is it, it decreases, it increases your, or decreases your tolerance for me, mediocrity. Like what I mean by this is if you get rid of all these lame people that are in your life or people who are dragging you down, essentially it increase, it, it, it decreases your tolerance for said behavior in the future. Meaning as you grow, because the thing with periods, I, that's why I said periods of solitude. I'm not saying you're going to be alone for the rest of your life when you need to achieve your goals. It's very possible to end up like that, but you not, you might not necessarily end up like that, right? So when you exit a period of solitude, you might actually meet people who can help you. Like you might end up meeting people who, who are like, can help you achieve your goals and they have a low tolerance for mediocrity that you have previously seen too. And this is a very good thing because then iron can actually sharpen iron here. And that's the whole point of this because if you get rid of bullshit, right? You're, you decrease your tolerance for bullshit. You attract and have better people in your life who can better serve you. Because the issue with maintaining, and this is why I believe guys really need to enter this period of solitude if they have not yet in their life, is because if you are around mediocrity for too long, that becomes normal for you. Meaning you are willing to, you're not willing, you're willing to tolerate things that are not excellent. And that is not what's going to push you towards your goals the farthest and the fastest. The higher your threshold, meaning if you increase, if you keep increasing what excellence looks like for you, it increases the likelihood you're going to be able to achieve your goals because you're increasing the amount of inputs and work you're willing and focus and other shit you're willing to do to achieve your goals. Whereas if you're around people who are mediocre, who are mediocre, who are, who are okay with mediocrity or okay with being lame for too long, that's just going to become normal for you. It's not going to feel like lame or mediocrity. And I do not want that to end up. I don't want that to be the case for you guys. I want you guys to enter this period of solitude, increase your excellence, increase your expectations. So the new people you meet after you exit a period of solitude are of a high caliber and are pushing hard towards their goals and can really help you and serve you. I really want that for y'all. I don't want you guys to waste your time with lame people, period. I want you guys to continue to get stronger. And that's why I believe solitude is so important. So one last time, identify the bad eggs. Identify the bad eggs, guys. Get rid of all the bad eggs, right? And by bad eggs, I mean people who are lame, people who are not helping you achieve your goals and are ultimately just dragging you down because they're mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> they, because they're mediocre, right? Because they're mediocre, you know? Figure out, figure out who these people are, identify them. Once you've identified them, you gotta move to the next step, which is just cutting the fat, bro. Go have the hard conversations or end the communication, period. Your emotions are not gonna serve you here. You know the truth. You, need, you know deep down what the rationality is and you know what the truth is. Have the hard conversation, it is okay. Things are gonna be good. More often than not, if you have this hard conversation, the person is gonna be cool with it. They're gonna be like, wow, this guy is so cool. He was completely honest with me about what he wanted to do and how he wanted to act. And it's just amazing. Or you just end the communication. If you feel like whoever these people are that are around you are just batshit crazy. And if you have this conversation with them, they could potentially kill you or shoot you or stab you. 
just stop talking to them and avoid them completely. Because I don't want y'all to die trying to do this. I want y'all to grow. And in order to grow, you need to be alive. So yeah, so you can do it like that. So yeah, that's pretty much my frame or my mental exercise on entering your period of solitude, which will help you grow, become, make you more resourceful. You'll be self-reliant and generally you'll become much, much better and you'll increase the likelihood that you're able to achieve your goals. But please give me feedback on this. Did this make sense? Do you believe solitude can help you achieve your goals? And obviously, if you disagree, let me know down in the comments as well, because some of you might be like, nope, I don't need to be alone. I can achieve my all my goals regardless. And you can. That's the real truth. I'm not going to deny it. The truth is you can. I just believe this will make you much, much stronger from my own personal experience and seeing the experiences of other people. Also, please, please, please like the video, boost this in the algorithm, of course, if you liked it so more guys can see this, enter their period of solitude, become stronger, become more resourceful, be independent, be self-reliant, and also increase their um, threshold for excellence or what excellence looks like because they continue to get rid of people who are not useful, who are not valuable, who are lame, and they only want to add people in who can help them achieve their goals, who are pushing them and doing really great things for them. So yeah, so with that being said, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next mental gym video. Peace.